My name is Dale Miller, and I'm your new Oklahoma State record holder for the largemouth bass. Well, a few days ago, uh, me and my brother were talking about coming fishing, and we we're talking about coming down here to Cedar Lake to go fishing. And uh, we had we had talked about this in the past, and we just never have gotten down here to go. And uh, I was talking to my neighbor Josh Walls of Bass Fanatics, and asking him what we could use down here. And he said uh, the umbrella rig was real good. And I told him I didn't have anything like that, and he loaned me his hog hunter rod and reel and all fixed up here to go fishing with and uh, so me and my brother we came down here yesterday we got here about probably about 10 or 10 15 we got the boat in the water uh, we started over there and we kind of went around the edge toward the dam and I started fishing with the Alabama rig and uh, my brother Vonnie he was fishing with the rig also but he put his down and started using a crankbait again, and we got to that far side, and uh, I was still using this, this Alabama rig here from, that Josh loaned me, and uh, sure enough, I, heard, I felt something bump that thing after we'd been here about 15 or 20 minutes fishing. And uh, I set the hook, and I told my brother, I said, you know, you're gonna have to come help me with this, and he said, you ain't got no fish on there, what are you talking about? I was up in front of the boat and he was in the back of the boat. And he started to uh, holler and he said, come and help me. And I looked back there and his old pole was bent pretty good and I throw my pole down and run back there. And and, uh, and uh, saw it was pretty good size out there in the water and he got it closer to the boat and I went down there and lifted it and it was a monster bass. My legs was shaking and nervous and I couldn't even hardly stand up. I thought I was gonna fall in the water there for a minute. He was kind of, uh, squealing and his knees were shaking and uh, he was really excited. <laughs> he said, hold the fish, don't let her jump. And I said, well, I can't keep that from happening. And, uh, and uh, he said, well, just be still, don't move. And I said, I ain't gonna move. If I do, I'll fall in the water. <laughs> and uh, he raced down and lifted her out of the water into the boat and we both about passed out when we seen how big this fish was. It was huge. Put her in the live well and come over to the bank and started calling. and see if we couldn't get a hold of somebody. For some reason, we stopped at Walmart yesterday morning and bought a set of scales just to see if we could catch something worth putting on the scales. <laughs> and he grabbed the scales and he said, this fish weighs 15 pounds. He said, now what are we gonna do? And I said, I don't know what we're gonna do. And he said, we gotta get the boat to the bank right now. We gotta call somebody. We're playing a game of phone tag back and forth and I finally get a hold of uh, Mr. Dale and Tell them we finally come to an agreement that we would meet at the Higgins office. And so I get there and get everything prepped, get the scales set up, get all the all the measuring board, everything, the certain the affidavit, and go ahead and set up a 75 gallon holding tank for the fish to make sure that it'll stay alive and healthy while we're wanting to certify it and photograph it. And about 20, 30 minutes later they show up with the fish and Throw it on the scale and sure enough, 14 pounds, 13.7 ounces, it's, it's a new state record. Uh, it was 26 and a eighth inches long. The, the girth was 23 inches around. It was just a beautiful fish. I bought my fishing license last month and this month I'm the new state record holder for the largemouth bass caught right here at Cedar Lake. <laughs>